Hi everyone, Brian Pone here, back with another video. And today we're going to take a look at a little PowerShell script that I found that saved me some time. So inherently on pen tests, a lot of the time I'm looking for Kerberos tickets, right? I'm looking for Kerberos tickets installed on a system where an admin has logged in that I can then use or steal. Now, stealing these has become more challenging because, well, Rubius and Mimikatz, the tools I typically use for this, are very well fingerprinted. Well, this tool that I'm showcasing here by Michael Zimalo uh, is essentially the injector and dumper features in just a straight PowerShell script. Now, I thought about writing this myself, so I went looking for it, and lo and behold, I found something that will do it. So essentially, what these tools do is they allow you to read all of the Kerberos tickets that are in memory, much like Mimikatz or Rubius, and either dump them out to screen or to a Kirby file or to other files, and then import them. Now, the interesting part about this is Defender just doesn't care. And many AVs that I've tested this against don't care. Not yet, because these are just straight, simple PowerShell scripts, right? And if you, in PowerShell, of course, one of my favorite weapons is quite easy to obfuscate. So if we take a look at this, we'll start over here on our Windows host too, right? So I have an administrative command prompt shell up. Essentially on this box, I am a local admin, right? I have escalated into local admin. You need to be able to run an administrative level shell to do anything with this. Now this system, say it's a jump box, right? I've gotten a hold of your jump box. Well, I know there's a bunch of Kerberos tickets on here that I want to abuse and reuse and maybe replay or move to other systems in the environment. Normally I would need Rubius or Mimikatz to do something there. Those two are super well fingerprinted and you're always fighting the EDR battle with that. Now, on using these tools, I am not required to do that, right? So we're going to start with the simple dumper script. So if we do dot slash dumper, just simply dumper.ps1, this is going to dump out all the Kerberos tickets that are in memory onto the screen and their hashes so we can reuse them on another system. So quite simply, I'll take dumper PS1 here and I'm going to run it now. This throws a lot of information to screen really fast. So what I recommend you do is look for green, right? Because it's going to throw a lot of tickets here. There's green. And we can see here, this is the system. And we'll keep going up here and we'll probably find some interesting tickets here because, well, this is a jump box. And there's others. And that looks like an administrator ticket. Administrator at hacklab.com. So somebody logged into this system with a domain administrator of administrator. Now, of course, this is a setup for this particular video, but it is highly possible you could find a domain admin logged into a jump box. So quite simply, now we can take this information right here in this ticket and we can import it, much like you would do with Rubius or Mimikatz, right? So we'll copy this over and we're gonna jump over to a completely different host, right? So here we have a completely different Windows host. I'm gonna go ahead and open a command prompt here and we'll open that as an administrator. I am a local admin on this system as well but I want to escalate to that domain admin where I found their ticket, right? So we'll do just that. We'll start by going into our downloads directory. And we're in our downloads right now and we'll DIR. And in here you can see we should have Injector. Do I have Injector? It's in here. It's in downloads. There it is. Injector VS1. 
So what we want to do is we want to run PowerShell. And then once we've run PowerShell, just to verify that we are not domain admins, we're going to DIR to the C dollar share of the domain controller. So we'll do DIR and we'll go 2016 lab C and we'll go C dollar. Access is denied, right? Well, I don't like my access denied. So let's inject that ticket that we found. So now we can do injector. We're going to give it a two because that's the method when you put the hash in. And then we'll take and we'll copy that hash in just like that. And now notice we have a KRB TGT or a TGS actually, TGT of the administrator account. We have stolen and moved that ticket between systems using this script. Defender actually Cortex XDR has been on on this system and on this system Defender if we go to virus and threat protection you can see here real time's on just automatic sample submission is the only thing that's off so these scripts are slipping by EDR like crazy right now. So if you're using these in a live pen test, you almost don't really have to worry about EDR. Now, okay, so I've injected my Kerberos ticket, right? I used the dumper, dumped it out of the other system. I've now injected it into this system. And now I'm going to do that same DIR. And there we go. I'm domain admin. Now, am I really domain admin? No, but I have a Kerberos ticket as the domain admin. So a couple things you got to think about when you're using Kerberos tickets. You have to authenticate with Kerberos. So you have to use fully qualified domain names to move around, right? You can't use your typical IP addressing. If you use IP addressing, it falls back to NTLM authentication and it won't work. But there you have it. Quick little tool tip here. Um, really simple scripts. I thought about writing them myself. I'm like, maybe I'll just write this myself. And then I went out there and I found it. So. Kudos to um, Michael Zamalo uh, on this. But that's, that's it for this week. Thanks again. And for those of you that were in my science class and you're watching this, thanks for continued watching and hope to see you in another one. But I'll leave you once again with Hack the Planet to Defend Better.